Away we go for Villa's first reserve fixture of 2011. It's a top of the table clash, second versus first. Villa three points behind the Gunners, looking to do the league double over Arsenal, having beaten them at their training ground by two goals to nil. Oh, that's given away by the keeper. And can he be punished? It's scratched against the outside of the post. Great opportunity for Andy Vyman. Just the one defeat for the reserves this season. He won the South League for the last three years under Kevin McDonald. No small achievement. It was to Manchester City in the first game. And they've uh, gone on a good run since. Barry Bannon hat trick in beating Manchester United. Won at uh, Arsenal. Had some uh, tremendous victories at uh, Bodymore Heath as well. Next up, it's Chelsea at their training ground next Wednesday afternoon, 2.05 kickoff. We'll be there for the action on the best video. Here's uh, Delfonso pursuing that one eagerly down the right, out of his penalty area comes the keeper, then he's given it away, a long range effort, that's an absolute belter! What a brilliant goal from young Gary Gardner on his return to action. It was given away, he still had an awful lot to do. Wonderful opportunism. It's a quite brilliant individual goal. Gardner has been out for so long, returns from injury, and that was positively inspirational. If David... Oh, hang on, what's happened there? There's, a, there's some argy bargy over on the far side. The referee needs to defuse the tension. Oh, it's a red card. That looked like a red card to me. I'm sure he's, he's issued a red card, the referee there, Mr Ford. And Arsenal are down to 10 men, I think. Oh, they do, and here come Villa now down the right-hand side, the low ball in, it could be two, and it is two. Excellent cross from the right-hand side, and this time it's Andy Weimer who's on target. The cross came over, and the two men returning from their layoffs. It was fizzed in from Gardner down the right, and Weimer, the fox in the box, was waiting, the predator, it came in off the keeper, it doesn't matter, Villa are flying here against 10-man Arsenal. Yeah, and, <laughs> and the burger van is open at half time. He, he almost announced that gleefully, didn't he? He really gave that some gusto, more so than for the scorer. Uh, but you can get a hot drink here, that's good. Anyway, there's a foul on Weyman, the scorer of Villa's second goal. God, no. Oh, he's not going to shoot from here, is he? 40 yards out. He's chipped it, that's nice. Lovely distribution. Header from Baker, and it's into the net. And Villa have a third goal. Chris Hurd has scored from close range. Beautifully worked that one. Gary Gardner has been involved in all three goals tonight. He chipped the free kick forward. It was nodded down by Baker, and Hurd had the presence of mind to hit it into the roof of the net. Villa are cruising towards the. Interesting garden should be involved. Here's a shot from range. That's a brilliant effort from Nathan Baker, hunting a fourth goal. He was 30 yards out, hammered it, left of centre. That was going to loop just underneath the bar. It's some stop from James Shea in the Arsenal goal as Baker, the defender, let fly. Wonderful dip, and that's a very good piece of goalkeeping. Here's the cross from the right wing, Baker heads it back into the mix and here's the fourth goal as Jonathan Hogg hits that one with attitude. A right wing corner, Baker was involved again in the setup, and Jonathan Hogg, the midfielder with a master blaster, an absolute trailblazer of a drive. Arsenal don't know what's hit them. I tell you what's hit them, a top performance from Villa's second string. Four different scorers, Jonathan Hogg's the latest to swell the net. It's Villa four, Arsenal nil. Fit in, and uh, let's see how he can do. Gary Gardner hits it low, handball, handball referee, that's a clear penalty. Well, it could be a fifth goal. 
Gary Gardner looking for his second goal of the game. It's been a rout in this first half. Gardner steps up, cool as you like, into the corner. Villa have been absolutely irresistible against the Gunners so far. And there might be more goals to come in the second half. They've destroyed them. Gardner with his second. He's been superb on his return, the youngster. Watch this space. He's a real talent. It's Aston Villa reserves five, Arsenal reserves nil. Gary Gardner's rolled it for the sub, Harry Forrester. Clips it up high, header out, unconvincing, and it'll be smashed in by Stiber. That's a brilliant clearance from underneath the crossbar as Andrew Stiber looked to get in on the scoring X. He really walloped it, crisp connection. However, Arsenal able to scramble the ball to safety. And he's got lots of food for thought as this one's chipped up high. Control is good from Forrester, sliding over, wins the corner. Here's the header, and is that number six? Yes, it is. Floated in by Harry Forrester, and that was some leap and some goal. A quite brilliant header from Chris Hurd. He thumped that one as Forrester, the substitute, gets involved with the creation of the goals, and Chris Hurst there with his second. Brilliant leap, we've seen him do it for the first team, we saw it for the reserves there. Villa. Here they come again, they're looking for number seven, the shot hit low by Nathan D'Alfonso, who's desperate to get amongst the goals. He was free. There's a cross in from the far side. It's going to be rifled towards goal. He struck the bar, Andrew Stiber. He's been unlucky. He might have had two in the second half. That was a lovely strike of the football from Stiber. Not far away at all. The keeper was beaten. The woodwork came to Arsenal's rescue. He's had two great chances, hasn't he, in the, in the second half? Yeah. Oh, brilliant work from Andy Vyman. He's dispossessed the number six, Montero. Vyman into the area, cuts it across, and Delfonso helps it home. And Villa are in seventh heaven here at Hinkley United FC. Delfonso's, who's huffed and puffed all night long, does, does have his goal. Vyman, lovely work, selfless from the returning striker, cut it across, and it was the simplest of tasks for Nathan D'Alfonso, his sixth goal of a productive reserve season. It's Aston Villa seven, Arsenal nil. This is an absolute hammering. Well, still Villa are probing, still hunting more goals. And you wouldn't back against them getting them. Here's um, D'Alfonso, good pivot, gets free. D'Alfonso for number eight. Saved by the keeper, tries to bundle it in on the rebound, but he did just about enough there, James Shea in the Arsenal goal. But Del Paul Faulkner, there, he's chief exec there, who's uh, keeping up to date with the coverage. He says, uh, don't let me down, Jack, eight's my lucky number. So uh, <laughs> let's hope that... Uh, that's, uh, good ball in now for Delfonso who controlled and finished. That's a quite brilliant piece of finishing from Nathan Delfonso. Lovely ball into his feet. He still had an awful lot to do and he did it with the minimum of fuss. Rolled it home calm if you like. It's turned from a battering to an annihilation. It is the cross from Arsenal. They have got a goal. No clean sheet for Aston Villa. As the cross came in, it was whipped over well. And Arsenal, well, it's not much of a consolation, but they do at least have something to take from their trip to Leicestershire. It was swung over. Good delivery again, really nicely curled. And then it's blasted towards goal. Will it be forced in from a close range? And it is eventually. And Villa have a ninth goal. And Chris Hurd has a hat-trick. It was pinging about the penalty area. It looked as though they were going to get the run of the ball, Arsenal. But Chris Hurd, great positioning there. And the Aussie is going to be taking home the match ball, I think. This has been a truly remarkable evening for Aston Villa. <laughs> I suppose you would, yeah. I mean, I don't know what you say to young players. 
Delfonso wants a hat trick. He wants to match Chris Hurd, and he might just do that. He's got excellent pace. He's sprinting forward. Delfonso's going to go the whole way. Brilliant work from Delfonso. Can he finish? Tries the cut back, and it should be bundled in. It is. Villa have 10, and it's the number 10 who's hit it. Absolutely brilliant. Andy Vyman has got his second goal of the night. Delfonso with a dynamic burst. That was quite stunning from the striker. Left the defence for dead. Then he was selfless, having rounded the keeper, slotted it in the centre, and Andy Weiman, the Austrian under-21 international, hits it home from close range. Villa have double figures. They hit five in the first half. They've hit five in the second. Aston Villa, 10, Arsenal, 1. I'm going to have to repeat that, just, to, just so you believe me. Aston Villa, 10, Arsenal won. What a night for the reserves. What a night for Kevin McDonald. Gerard Houllier, the manager watching on, he must be mightily impressed with this. It has been an absolute destruction of a very good young team. It's 10 goals against the 10 men.